this. Oh, she didn't forget. They went to court. That's one of my favorite places to go to, because it's a fact-based <laughs> argument. I don't want to dilly-dally all day around with talking points and PR people from uh, my opposition. I want to get into court and I want to prove it. And I can prove my case. And I got experts and all kinds of stuff lined up. And I got a mountain of scientific evidence about harms that are produced and so forth. So even if your political system is a little bit deflated, then I understand because Pittsburgh has had a Republican elected in 11 elected offices in the city since 1938. So you have places like that. So how do you change inside that Republican party, the politics? Yeah. People switch parties and join the committee. That's one way. That's a little guerrilla war there. Politic, you know, really. It's like, you can't beat them, join them. They infect their system. Why are they infecting mine? Go join the Republican committee. Go run for committee person. Nobody wants to do that. That's one way. But the other way is, in Pennsylvania, we had an amazing, we did a whole session on the Supreme Court decision in Pennsylvania in 2013 on the Oil and Gas Act. But nine provisions were found unconstitutional. More often than not, I, you can go to any municipality and you will find that the leadership is not abiding by the law or the Constitution in some form or fashion, and that's where you go after them. And, you know, public interest, uh, good public interest lawyers aren't, aren't growing on trees, legal counsel costs the money and stuff, and it's about organizing, organizing public opinion, you know, where, where the governor's right but he's wrong, and putting that paradox into play. And it's a fight, and it's a lifetime, because this is not going to be done in a year, and the other side always comes back. It's a lifetime.